if you guys haven't noticed, we've been filming breakfast a lot more lately, and I think it's because we don't have anywhere to go, oh, and so we go? wake up and we enjoy oh, the mornings together. We're not rushed. It feels good. It feels really good. Just do it. Get your spatula would, under there. I would take that mini one. No, get your spatula. Good job. Quarantine yeah. pancakes. <laughs> it's kind of refreshing to have Olivia. No! You gotta flip it. That's the smallest one. Get it. Right. <laughs> yep. It's kind of refreshing to have a helper that like actually helps. Cause like you guys help with like little things, but making breakfast, come on. Okay, they're a little burnt, but I mean, they'll be good. I think the kids are just sick of not having breakfast. <laughs> like cereal's great. We're just like, no, pancakes, please. <laughs> I'll have a triple stack. I'll have a two triple stack. What two triple stack? I'll have both of those. I was watching you on the nest last night. What nest? On the camera. You were pretty angry going to bed, weren't you? How? So was watching. <laughs> Do you see his face of realization? Oh. What kind of things were you saying last night when you were going to bed? Mm. Nothing. Um, I'm trying. I'm asking him if he recalls what he was saying last it. night. I he was like. I wish I never left the hospital and I'm mad at my mom and I'm mad at my dad and I'm mad at Olivia and Cody and no, Boston no. and Lady. No. Yes. No. What else did you say? I said it's for my pants. <laughs> he was mad about <laughs> And I'm gonna put them in the laundry room, but you were distracting me and you weren't. <laughs> Yeah, he was so mad at me. I was distracting him. I was yelling at him. What else were you saying? I hate my yellow walls. I wish my walls were red. I wish I had a red room, not a yellow room. My blanket's too small. Everyone has a big blanket and I have a tiny blanket. I'm gonna use dad's blanket. <laughs> Did you yeah, see that? You can have my blanket. I can have your blanket. This is probably oh. the best ones. Okay. Uh, see, ah! I don't think they're done enough. Yeah. Oh, who's okay? Who's gonna start eating these? Code, you up? No, triple stack, triple stack. I want, I want both of those tiny okay. ones. I'm having a triple stack. All right, so you get the three triple stack. You get the two whole baby wings. Mom, can you take that thing off? Yes, finish this one up first. Are you ones? Boston looked at me with a very concerned face and said, "Are you in jail, Mom?" Kids like to. <laughs> Whoa, what happened? Go back. I know exactly what happened. I know, I did too. <laughs> Caught laughing in public. Okay, that is a, literally a hilarious vlog. Oh, that was such a funny day. She did not like us, but remember she loved Lincoln. <laughs> and no, Boston, I was never in jail. But when your kids Google you and stuff actually comes up, that's kind of... <laughs> it's kind of wild. I'm trying to climb this. You're trying to climb the wall. Well, get down. Take me up to the ball game. Let me talk to the joy. What? What do you think the words are? <laughs> Take me up to the ball game. Let me talk to the joy. Let me talk to the what? Joy. The let me talk to the joy? Is that a new verse? What? Cody! What are the words? Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever Is it come back? For its root, root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For its one, two, three strikes, you're out of the old ball game. I think we failed as parents. <laughs> Cody, that's amazing. <laughs>
Okay, okay, well, okay. You're too big to play upstairs. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys my favorite cooking conditions. I showed you guys a little while ago that I made a coconut curry like lentil soup and I wasn't sure if it was going to be good. It was fabulous and so I wanted to show you guys today how I'm making it. So I'll kind of show you that a little bit and I'll have the recipe in the description for you guys. We just got done with like a lunch. But the kids are just up here playing. It's just kind of random. Um, they're playing games in here. They're making stress balls out of balloons. Yes, it's messy, but we'll just clean it up when we're done. And it's overcast. So the kids playing, me cooking, overcast weather. And I don't have any of the lights on. It's just kind of moody in here. So I'm going to turn the music on, turn the camera off, and make some soup. And I'll update you as I go. I feel like this is the greatest day of my life. The smell of fresh ginger is heavenly. Boston chose the Spotify playlist, which is Zen Yoga. I feel like this is the greatest day of my life. Go find a pillow. So everyone has their stress balls. Cody's gonna tell us what a stress ball is for. Go find a pillow, Lincoln. Stress is where you have Go to ahead. Well, there's some two things. One, you can play with it. And two, like when you're stressed, you like, you just get scared, so you just take one of these if you have one, and you just start smoking it. Okay, all right. I learned this from Julie, my sister. She had, she did kind of like a, well, she did like a little spa day. This is to help keep the kids quiet. <laughs> We're going to turn back up our Zen music, and I'm gonna finish cooking, and we're just going to lay on our pillows and have a little bit of like quiet time. And talk? No. I'm not gonna say that it was peaceful getting my kids to cooperate, but if you're mean enough, and if you're scary enough, they'll cooperate and have a peaceful, quiet time. So the soup is basically done. It's like a stew, kind of. Anyway, I didn't show because it was a little too hectic. Um, the kids are now FaceTiming with their cousins. <laughs> Comparing we wrote letters, we wrote notes, now we're just FaceTiming. Yeah, they've been writing letters in the mail. I'm sorry that I did not go step by step with the soup, but it was a mixture of a few things. I was enjoying what I was doing with the kids, and I didn't want to like keep interrupting with recording. Two, I was just like in my groove, and three, <laughs> the kids weren't amazing, amazing. I mean, they were fine, but it would have added to the hecticness. Anyway, if you go to my Instagram, I have a highlight. And on the highlight, I have a food highlight that I save whatever food like I talk about or whatever food I post. So the recipe and the directions and the picture will be on my Instagram highlight under food. Sorry about that. <laughs> so this vlog is not going how I intended it at all, but I have to say this while it's on my mind. I'll show you, you can see the final result. I was planning on like doing dinner as a family and like closing the vlog that way. But this is how I want to end it. I was thinking about the quarantine and how like just the blessings that have come from the way things happened up until then. I shared with you guys when we started Bali Brand, our clothing line. Ellie and I had this really big push to start our clothing line when we did and we have said so many times since then, we would never have been able to do it at any other time. Our lives changed, our priorities changed, like everything changed once we got it up and going and there's no way we could have started it at a later point in time same with the griffiths cookbook which we have the e-version so i'll have that in the description for you guys but then it was like ellie and i had this really big like aha moment so we were working like every single day from like eight to two and we were getting so burned out we weren't being with our kids and there was this like shift that happened and we both decided we want to not take a step back. It feels like a step back when we decided not to produce like new clothing each time. Right now with the coronavirus, I can't imagine trying to source fabric. We wouldn't be able to do it. We would have paid for all of it at this point, but it wouldn't have been able to go into production. And I think we would have lost out on a lot of money. That in itself was such a blessing. So we decided just to stick with loungewear is what we're going to like see how that goes because that's what sells the like right off the bat for us. Anyway, you guys already know all this, but what I was going to say is right before Corona hit, Ellie and I had this really big kind of like push and desire to have 
Brie and some other girls get trained to do Bali for us. And then as soon as they like got things down pat, we all were quarantined. Like days after they got it down so where they could do it and now they can do it remotely from wherever they are they don't have to be in our homes they can do it from home like that's a blessing for them it's a blessing for us and i was telling brie i said what if ellie and i hadn't have gotten you guys trained when we did then we would have spent the entire quarantine like stressing about it shushing the kids there's i don't know how we would have done homeschool at the same time as trying to train them i find that to be nothing ironic about it. It is a straight up blessing and I am so grateful for divine timing. I see it in my life all the time. I try and share it with you guys so that I can help you see the blessings in my life so hopefully you can see blessings in your life. I know that there is so much that has negatively been affected by the coronavirus but I have seen just in my personal life so many blessings from it and I'm just so grateful that I have been able to take this time and just be with my kids. It's a true blessing that I'm in my home with my kids and it's such a blessing that Joel has this project to get him out of the house. I mean, I'm really bad Joel's out of the house for several hours of the day because I don't know if I would be able to handle that. <laughs> um, so he's been gone and that's been just a wonderful outlet for him and I just had to express out loud how grateful I am anyway so I'm gonna end the vlog on that now I just want to hopefully help you recognize blessings in your own lives and I would love if you shared them with me come to my Instagram and comment on the most recent post before I make a new post I make sure that I'm caught up with like comments on my last post I would love to hear from you guys and just know how much I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching our videos and I love you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.